All right, my Algebra 1 students, I would like you to watch this video today as we begin week three in order to get you off to a really good start and also so that uh, your homework goes okay for you. So this week you are going to be taking a cougar path and that cougar path is going to have um, a lot of problems where you're doing analysis of a quadratic and specifically some of the things you're going to be looking at are standard form and also vertex form. So we're just going to do a quick little review here. Um, I want to just give you some general reminders about a couple things to help you with your homework this week uh, before you get started on it. Okay, and then if you do have any questions, please make sure you get those answered prior to taking your, your first cougar path since you'll just have one attempt at this time and of course uh, next week or the week after, or even next week, you could uh, retake that assignment if you were not pleased with the score that you got. But let's uh, let's try and get a really good score going into it the first time. All right. So one of the things to remember is that uh, standard form of your quadratic looks like this. y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And vertex form of your equation looks like this. y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. And some things we know from standard form, we know that if A is positive, so if it's greater than zero, then you're going to have a parabola that opens up. And if A is less than zero, you're going to have a parabola that opens down. So that's helpful to know. And then the C value is your y-intercept. So this should be review, just to kind of help you kind of recharge that memory a little bit. Um, the a value here is going to mean exactly the same thing as it does in standard form. So your a value is that value that helps you to know whether or not your parabola is going to open up or it's going to open down. And then the hk, remember, is the actual xy coordinate of your vertex. Okay, so that's why it's called vertex form because this value of h and this value of k, when you see them in this form, are your values for your vertex. Okay, so we're going to take a little practice tour through some numbers in this and we're going to try this particular problem and we're going to convert it from standard form to vertex form real quick. And this is not going to be a long video, so stick with me and just kind of watch through this example. And then I have a couple other pieces of information I want to share with you just to kind of help you through the week. And then you can get started on your homework. Okay, so if this is the problem that we're given in standard form, what we can do is we can identify, because really what we need are the A, H, and K values right, to be able to write this in vertex form. So we're going to start with a is equal to 2, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to negative 3. And I've done a lot of videos where I have identified a, b, and c first, so you guys are probably getting accustomed to seeing me kind of go, go down this path. So for vertex form, we need our a value, and we know our a value is 2. Perfect. So we already have that piece. The other piece is we are going to use the formula negative b divided by 2a to determine the x value of our vertex. So it's going to be the opposite of b divided by 2 times a, and that's where I plugged in my 4 and my 2 into my formula, and negative 4 divided by 4 is an x value of negative 1. So right away we know that our hk value for our vertex form the h value is going to be a negative 1. Now to find the y value, we have to take this negative 1 and we have to plug it back into our original equation. So here we go. Negative 1 squared plus 4 times my negative 1 
minus 3. So remember when you square that negative 1, negative 1 squared is going to be a positive 1 times 2. So we're always going to do exponents first, and then multiplication, and then our addition and subtraction is going to be last. 4 times a negative 1 is my negative 4, and minus 3. So 2 minus 4 is a negative 2, minus 3 more is going to be our y value. So we get a y value of negative 5. And that is going to be the y value of our vertex. So here comes the last step. We're going to put these two pieces together. This a equals 2 and our h, k, and you just drop them right into your formula. So last but not least, here is your formula in vertex form. y is equal to 2 times x minus a negative 1, so it's going to be plus 1 squared minus 5. And that is an example of how to go from standard form to vertex form. And we've done a few of those before. Um, just wanted to remind you of that before you started your homework on this week's uh, homework piece. So a couple of other things. There is one homework problem where you're asked to um, put in a square root. And so we're going to work with square roots a lot next week. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on this particular problem. The problem looks like this. I'm actually going to just walk you through how you would do it. So it's x squared is equal to 45. And um, when you want to get x by itself, we're taking the square root of both sides, and we get x is equal to plus and minus root 45. Um, you're okay to leave this like this, but I will share with you that the process for simplifying this radical is the answer that's wanted probably in your Schoology assignment. So what ends up happening with this 45 is it gets broken down into a 9 times 5 because 9 times 5 is 45. And this 9 root 9, that is a perfect square. So it is actually going to pop out and we're actually going to separate this. So our final answer here is going to be x is equal to plus and minus the square root of 9 is 3 and the root 5 stays. And probably how you need to type that in is you'll probably need to type it in as like um, 3 and then I think there's a code for square root of 5 and then you might have to type in like a negative 3 and then square root of 5 for this particular problem. Okay, so watch out for those. And then I'm also going to post, um, check out the next video kind of in the lineup for how to work through the quadratic formula. There are some of the problems that we're working through this week that use um, quadratic formula. So we're kind of diving into that. And remember that is x equals the opposite of b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And you can watch the next video in the lineup for some examples of how to use that formula. All right, guys, I hope this has helped to kind of get you ready to start your homework for the week. We're into week three, and you are doing a great job. All right, keep up the good work, and I'll see you in our meetings.